Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to a special investing report. Today we talk to Toby Fines, the new head of Prudential Supervision at the Reserve Bank of New Zealand, about changes to the regulations for finance companies. Under some new rules likely to come in next year, the Reserve Bank will be the regulator for finance companies, credit unions and building societies. Currently at the moment they're pretty lightly regulated. Now the Reserve Bank will be the one to set up a new regime of credit ratings for finance companies. So the likes of Standard & Poor's and Moody's will have to provide a credit rating for every finance company and they'll need one to be able to raise funds from the public. That's if they have assets worth more than $10 million. So I asked Toby Fines in Wellington how it will work for investors. What will they see when they're looking at an investment for a finance company? Sector, yeah. So for um, mums and dads investing in finance yeah. companies, what would they expect to see on an ad or in a prospectus about the rating? Yeah, I mean, we, we, need to, we need to work this through exactly how it's going to be communicated. But we would expect that the ratings company themselves um, and the finance company um, would, would need to explain what the rating meant. So they need to explain the difference between a single A rating and a B plus rating, for example, and what that meant for the risk of the investment, yes. Because B plus um, sounds great for an example. But <laughs> yeah, that's right. I was always very pleased with B plus at school, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but it's but actually it, junk for, for, it, for a um, it is It is higher risk, yeah. I mean, junk, junk's... Junk, junk, junk is a term that was invented in the US for anything that was below what is called investment grade, but it's just a line in the sand. It doesn't actually mean anything. Mm. Well, it doesn't, it, it doesn't, yeah. Because mm. from a financial point of view, market point of view, some people say unless it's yeah. triple B minus or above, yeah. there's not much point in having it because then you're labelled as not investment grade. That's a label. That's what I was saying, yeah. Mm. It's, it's a label and there's, you know, you can be just above or just mm. below, but it's, it's a label. Just looking elsewhere, apart from the credit ratings, um, yep. what involvement will the, might the Reserve Bank have in uh, regulating the finance company sector? Yeah, well, that's right. We're going to be regulating, not supervising the finance company sector. Um, the trustees will continue to do their present role, which is direct supervision um, on a private contractual basis with the finance companies. Um, our role will be, as regulated, we'll have oversight of the sector, and we will be setting the regulations, which is something we do for banks now, um, but it's why we've been given the job. But it will be setting the high-level rules rather than the rules that apply to individual companies. So we'll be setting the, uh, for, for, um, for example, the criteria on which capital should be calculated. We'll be setting the criteria for use of ratings agencies. Um, and we'll be setting the uh, rules, for example, by which um, connected, exposure, uh, connected exposures should be calculated and limited. What about disclosure? There's been some people who who've, who think that um, finance company disclosure yeah. hasn't been as good as it could be. What role will the Reserve Bank have in managing that those disclosure rules and, and helping them, or, or forcing the Reserve the uh, finance companies to disclose more and more often? Yeah, I mean it, it, it won't it won't be our prime role. Um, disclosure will still be the role of the trustees, the finance companies themselves, and the Securities Commission. Um, our role will, will really be confined to what we're talking about, which is the credit ratings and setting the rules for the credit ratings, who can be used, and, and how it's communicated. What about the argument that some of the finance company sector uh, put forward that um, as soon as the credit ratings are in, if you use a standard S&P and Mooney's rule, essentially everything apart from three or four uh, will really struggle to survive, given they'll be um, uh, they'll have credit ratings which, which um, using the label, might, yep. won't be invisible. Yeah, I mean, the, the, we 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 don't really have a view on how how this thing is going to play out. I mean, our our role is to make it as transparent as possible to the investor and to the consumer. Um, I mean, it's, it's 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 really then up to the market, to the finance companies, to 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 set their pricing, their interest rates at a level that will still be attractive to the to the consumer, given the credit rating that they have.